So I took a poll on Instagram asking people what type of topics of videos that they want to see. And one of the topics stood out, which was a very simplistic topic, but really plays into the fact that I got to get back into the mentality that not everybody knows about fragrances, not everybody's in Fragcom who watches me. And there's a lot of new people entering this space as we speak. So they were like, yo, Koobs, what are five niche dumb reach fragrances that you can recommend. Now I thought it might be a little bit of a boring video, but then I thought about it, I'm like, nah, you gotta go back to the essence. Like I love my people in Fragcom and my supporters, but I also want to welcome and open the gates of hell, uh, <clears throat> the gates of luxury over to newcomers into the fragrance space. Not everybody wants to have 10, 20, 30, 60 bottles of fragrance. They just wanna get some easy joints, some easy recommendations, but wanna get into that niche space. So I've picked not five, but eight dumb reach niche fragrances that I would recommend you to try out and really not have to think too much about it. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to eight niche dumb reach fragrances that you should try right now. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to you to be today. Eight dumb reach niche fragrances. Now, I really wanted to make this somewhat of a balanced list. I wanted to make it really a dumb reach. I wanted it to hit various factors, whether it be from mass appeal, for corporate for entry level, freshness, a little bit of darkness, and still have that sexy niche quality that people are looking for when they step into the niche space. So the first fragrance that I selected is not Creed Aventus. It's a Creed Aventus-ish alternative. Personally, I like it more than Creed Aventus. For me, it performs better than Creed Aventus, and it is more inexpensive than Creed Aventus, but still has that highly bergamot, pineapple-ish type joint, but this is a little muskier, slightly more mature, and that's by the house of Nishan, and that's Hachivat. Once again, if you know Creed Aventus, and if you're even looking to step into the niche space, you kind of have an idea. Kind of Creed Aventus ends up being like the cornerstone, like the epitome, like the point of entry when it comes to the niche space. But you don't have to spend that 300 and change dollars. You can go to different websites like Max Aroma, Fragrance Buy, Fragrance X, wherever, eBay, wherever the fuck you wanna go to purchase your particular fragrances, and Hachiva will be a good amount cheaper than Creed Aventus and performs better for me, in my opinion. Still has that super mass appeal quality. Again, that bergamot, musky, blackcurrant, pineapple-ish vibe. Gorgeous fragrance, easy dumb reach, bright, fresh, signature scent worthy. You don't have to think about it. The dumb reach factor is that I don't have to like, uh, you can just pick this shit up and go. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Next one. Another very easy, dumb reach fragrance that I personally find extremely enjoyable. Very simplistic, but beautiful. Not complicated. Just like a chef would say, sometimes the best meals in the world are the simplest ones. The ones that don't require X amount of fucking ingredients, that you need seven pages of recipes, measurements, and shit like that for it to be delicious. And I think this is a very simplistic meal that is an easy to grab fragrance that has pedigree, legacy, mass appeal, and sexy vibes. And that's Creed's Green Irish Tweed. The Legendary, often compared in the same space as Cool Water by Davidoff. This is like if Cool Water had a 12 inch hog. Dick, I know nothing about that. I often compare this Lemon Verbena Beauty, classic beast tweed coat, a brisk walk in Central Park when the grass has like dew remnants of it after a beautiful rainfall. It is a legend, a very easy fragrance. To a lot of people that have stepped in this space, this was a signature scent for years. It is a very easy dumb reach fragrance that will offend no one. It's been a minute that I've picked this fragrance up. It still slaps. Lemon verbena, powdery, woody, violet leaf, just classic, an absolute classic, easy, dumb reach niche fragrance that you can absolutely just pick and grab and go without thinking about it and hoping that it hits, cause it's gonna hit next one. Now we're getting into some tricky territory. Like I started really trying to put it together like, what is really like an easy dumb reach fragrance that has some sex appeal factor? And I had to put in Amouage Reflection Man. For the newcomers to the page, some people put it in the space of Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal OG. 
No, if you want to use that as a point of reference, you can, but it's like saying that I'm also brolic, diesel, ripped, have man pecs, and qualified for the Olympics. How to describe reflection man to the simplistic individual. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Spicy, bright, loud, woody, slightly dry, with white florals that help invigorate life. This is a sexy fucking fragrance on the fresher side, but has so much body that can absolutely be a signature scent and really super easy to just grab and wear on any occasion. It is an incredible piece that you can Google across the board and people will share my same sentiments. It is a masterpiece in the dumb reach category. Reflection Man, insane easy dumb reach niche fragrance next one now we got some people with some money who didn't completely lose their shirt in crypto very few of them and i'm referring to the ones that probably cashed out before that hand but if you want some high-end luxurious name recognition along with a beautiful mass appeal bright citrusy sex bomb then you're gonna go for roja's elysium this name is like something that that chick from evanescence should have sang um, take black currant gin, vetiver, citrus, a little bright and sweet, a little sour and tart. Then you throw a little bit of leva and vanilla in the mix. You have a beautiful fucking sexy fragrance. When this shit came out, it was all the rage, all the buzz. Everybody was buying it by like the doubles. The hype has died down a little bit, but that's because people just get tired. And, and generally when the hype dies down is because the content creators don't speak about it as much. I still think it's a phenomenal fragrance. Once again, it's not something that I consistently reach for because I have options. My job is to try a bunch of shit out all the time and then give you my first impressions on these joints. That's what I do. But if I'm going to recommend some dumb, easy reach fragrances, Elysium has to be on that list. Sexy, dumb reach, signature scent, all seasons, all weather. It's a perfectly good tire. Good for all year round. Next one. Now the beautiful thing about the fragrance community is the vast age demographics. Anywhere from young, young teens to OGs. And there's a lot of people with different careers and jobs and businesses and CEOs and entrepreneurs and some individuals that are extremely classy and are just looking for a very easy, dumb reach fragrance when it comes to more of a classic gentlemanly fragrance. This fragrance fits that criteria and it's not too expensive. It's got a great reputation, amazing performance, and it's true truly the modern rendition of a classical man in a bottle, and that's Zaharov's signature pour homme. Georgie Zaharov really put his foot in when it came to this fragrance. It's really the new interpretation of the classic man. It is a completely beautiful, non-offensive, classical fougere with a modern twist. Just think of a beautiful, classic, soapy, shaving cream, incense green classic dude. It's not a fragrance you really gotta think about. And even if you're not such a classic dude and you're a polo khaki type loafer dude, that's fine as well. This can hit easy. It's not a complicated fragrance. There's not everybody's on the fuck boy shit. Usually some people that are corporate and be on that tip as far as going to work in a suit, briefcase, that whole vibe, generally kind of dress it down with like a polo or still on that casual members only coat. This is your pick, super easy. No thought process, no offensive, can translate from work to the golf course, easy breezy. Trust me, this is a beautiful, easy, inexpensive niche fragrance that's a dumb breach. Next one. Now this one was a ballsy pick. But really, I don't find anything to be challenging in this fragrance. I don't find anything to be off-putting, negative. I, I don't see how somebody would not like this fragrance. Maybe it's me in my jaded mind, but I wanna put this in there as a darker, sexy, juicy, blind pick niche fragrance that can really open up your nose and open up your mind to the world of niche and what is capable of it. And that's Amber Absolutely by Fort and Manly. The juiciest amber plum fragrance that you will find. It is unbelievable. Gorgeous, incensey, smoky, resinous, juicy, ambery, sugary. Wow, for me this is a dumb, dumb reach. Cause you're dumb if you think that this shit is gonna offend somebody or that you're not gonna like this. I don't think I've ever heard about anybody saying that this was a bad fragrance or, oh, this had this that turned me. 
Never. And I personally don't think I will ever hear that. I hate sometimes having so much fragrances. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I absolutely dread it because gems like this get lost in the sauce and I have to come back to them and really go, wow, what a fucking just gem this shit is. Had to put it in the list. For me, this is an easy dumb reach if I can see it. Next one. Cinnamon, tobacco, and woods. Sexy, dark, handsome is what I would categorize as fragrance by the House of Initia, and that's side effect. I think this is easily a dumb reach fragrance. An incredible tobacco fragrance. Tobacco always brings out that masculinity in dudes. They feel a little bit more big chested and their posture straightens up a little bit more like you just put a broom in the ass. I consider side effect one of these sexy yet elegant fragrances that you need to test out. Don't go out and blind buy any of these fragrances. I recommend definitely testing them out to see how they work on your skin and see if you feel that it is a dumb reach to go for. Now, if you feel our nose is aligned, then you already know what time it is. But if you're new into this fragrance space, I'm not gonna tell you to go blind buy these shits and spend two, three, four hundred dollars on fragrance. Don't do it. Go sample the shit. Schmooze with the counter girl, see if she can give you a little freebie. I'm not talking about like free, I'm just like a sample. And if the initial happens to be on the counter, go ahead and walk away. It don't cost you nothing. Easy dumb reach for me. Personally, try it out. Last, certainly not least, the more I smell this joint, the more I think like, what occasion can I not wear this joint? That's by the house of M. Mikalef and that's Desire Toxic. Took a while for me to get this in my stash and man, I wish I would have gotten it sooner. It just shines with this cinnamon punch of black currant and beautiful sour notes, followed by tonka bean, a little bit of an ambery vibe and some green mossiness in this fragrance. What does that all mean, Cuba? It is a sex magnet. It is a gorgeous fragrance, amazing performance, incredible scent profile. I think that there really isn't a situation that I wouldn't be able to wear this fragrance. Therefore, why wouldn't it be in the dumb reach category? Yes, it is not inexpensive, but the topic of the day was like easy to reach dumb grab niche fragrances, right? Dumb grab, I mean, who doesn't want the compliment factor? Who doesn't want that sex appeal? Who doesn't want the sweetness, the, the woodiness, the cinnamon vibe, the tonka nuances, a little bit of a weed note, slight like greenery in there? Dumb reach. I've given you eight dumb reach niche fragrances that pretty much, for me, are catered more to the people who are just coming in to this fragrance space. I want you to get to this channel and stay here like family and get comfortable. Sample these fragrances out before you blind buy them and see if they really match with your body. I always tell people on Instagram, don't trust me. Trust your skin. Trust your nose. Ultimately, that's the end all be all. That's the determining factor. No matter how many fragrances I have, no matter how, how fire I tell you this is, or how sexy it is, your skin and your nose are going to make the ultimate determination if you're gonna spend your hard earned money on these fragrances. I think all of these are absolute ball sprayers and I definitely recommend them joints, but I recommend for you to test them first and see how easy it is to blind reach for these joints. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Don't forget to go to mrcubano.com to support the page. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Over 48% of you watching my channel are not subscribed. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. We're on a road to 100K so I can give my little man his little silver plaque that he's been asking for. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know where it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.